One more again, man. Let's go. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Yeah. Big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, man, and I'm here with the lovely, official, dedicated, hey, man, hardworking, man. Got my back every time I move, man. My wife, man, the lovely, official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, my dad. Man, say, man, what's going on with you, man? We got Chilling Baby Youngin' in the building. Let me tell you something about Baby Youngin', man. Baby Youngin', man, dropped out the sky to us, man. We in Los Angeles today, man. He tried to run up here and get away from me. He tried to figure it all out. I'm out here with him, baby. We trying to figure it all yes, out sir. with yes, him today. Sir. We had to make it happen. We say, had to man, make it happen. Thank we you here. so much for coming on the show, man. So, yes, sir, so, yes, so, just to, you know, we like to get in the backstory, right? Yes, sir. Man, just give us a little bit of backspill about who you are, man, and kind of, kind of like, like from how you get it, got into the music. But just, just who you are, first of all. I go by the name of Baby Youngin. I'm a hip hop artist, uh, full Mexican descent. Both of my parents are Mexican. I'm from the north side of Dallas, Texas, Webb Chapel to be exact. Uh, yeah, Webb Chapel on top, Brock Bank on the bottom. Del Crest grew up on Del Crest and Park Lane in Santa Monica apartments. You know, real certified. All my OGs, they know what's up with me. You know, just out here working, man. I've always been into singing since I was little. And then, uh, you know, I wanted to be a singer. I be saying it all the time. So I'm, a, I'm a huge Bruno Mars fan. So I was into Bruno Mars. I always wanted to be a singer. But realistically, growing up, I knew that I didn't have the vocal range to really be a singer like Beyonce or Bruno Mars or anything. So one of my partners just told me, like, you know, you like singing and stuff. Because I used to sing in class. And I used to want to get into talent, talent shows in school and all this and that. I was in choir in middle school. So... I was I was really just trying to trying to sing. Well, one of my homies said, "Fool, if you feel like you can't sing, you should just try incorporating rap with it." So I incorporated rap with it, like towards sophomore year, towards the end of sophomore year of high school, and I went to the studio. Uh, first studio I ever went to was Triple C in Oak Cliff. Shout out Triple C, man. Shout out King with a Q. You know how he rocking, man. That was one. Of, that was the first studio I ever went to, and he was a first engineer to just tell me like damn bro you hard you need to keep going at it my first song ever recorded it was called my world and just he told me to just keep going and honestly that motivated me everything motivated my for my homies to everybody um, were your parents always on board with you becoming a entertainer definitely not i used to get into a lot of fights with my mom and my dad about me blowing my money studio time videos i used to think 200 dollars was a lot for a video and I used to go broke off my Walmart check, off my pawn shop checks, mm -hmm. off of everything. Like, and then there was times I even asked, I would ask my mom or I would ask my dad to help me out just to be able to pay off to go like two hours to the studio or so. Like, you know, it was, it was to the point where I was like going broke and my mom was just like, go to school, get a job. Like nobody in our family is a singer. Like you're never gonna be a singer. Like. And it wasn't to downplay me. I think she was just trying to be realistic. Right. I don't think she was trying to be mean or anything. I think she just didn't really see the vision. Because at and, the end of the day, you got to pay your bills right now. And right. being a musician, it takes time to build up. It you does. Gotta ha you got to have that money. You got to spend that money. But in order for you to have that money to spend, you got to work. Right. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, it was a lot of bumping heads. And eventually, like, once I took my trip to Miami, my manager third came and met my dad and stuff. Ended up convincing him to, like, just being cool with me going to Miami because I'm real respectful of my parents. That's like, mm -hmm. I'm God-fearing and I'm parent-fearing. You <laughs> feel me? I don't <laughs> fear nothing else. <laughs> but Are you the last child or the only boy? I'm the, I'm the first child. You're the first child? I'm the first child, even out of all my cousins. And I'm the oldest. I'm about to turn 20 this Sunday. Really? Big Leo season. You know how he rocking <laughs> gang shit. Yeah. yeah, I'm the oldest, even out of all my cousins, all my siblings, so I got a point of proof. Even though I, I, I feel like I, I could have been a bad role model growing up. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. But I do, better, I do better now, and I try to keep them in line. Do any, did any of them try to follow in your footsteps of being in the music industry? No, not as far as music. I don't think so right now. Not any of my direct family. Like, I got a little partner trying to make music right now. I'm, I'm going to support them, but... Like, you know, like, Brody just can't 
jump on board just because bro rapping like you know mm -hmm. you got to work for it you mm -hmm. got to work for it whether you my family whether you my friend you got to work for it because this wasn't given to me so i can't just up and write and like let myself give something to someone who didn't work for it you know that's true that's true so, so where do you see yourself in the next two years where music music is concerned in the next two years, I see myself being the biggest thing, not even out of Texas, in the U.S. I want to, I'm gonna be a superstar, and I'm telling, I'm telling this to the cameras now. I'm telling this to E right now. I'm telling this to you right now. We finna go crazy within the next two years, cause really, I've only been rapping for two years, and the first year was stagnant. That's like what you would expect a regular like person just trying to come up would have, like no results, no plays, no nothing, and then. When I started putting money behind myself, that first year is when stuff popped. Like the talent started like getting exposure. People just wanted recognition. To, yeah, mm -hmm. like recognition. And then from then on, I just it's like I said, that's motivation. Like at the end of the day, I do this for me. But for the most part, I do this for my family, and I love doing this shit. I love doing it for my fans. I love making music because it's an escape from the real world. I know what you said, like, in the next two years, you see yourself blowing, you just want to be worldwide, but in at the same time, two years is right around the corner, it's really not that far. So you really also need to have those mini goals, and okay, in order for me to be worldwide in the next two years, what do you think that it would take for you to be that big? Just keep doing what I'm doing. Honestly, I think I'm in, I'm, I'm in the right steps right now as far as politicking and being in the streets, uh, talking to everybody I talk to. I talk to a lot of a lot of big artists right now mm -hmm. a lot of big artists have interest in signing me a lot of big labels still have uh interest in signing me i i think i'm just gonna keep playing it cool and keep playing it smart and just link up where i need to link up and just do what i need to do and i'm gonna trust the process i don't think there's too many pinpoints because if there was a map for this i feel like everybody would be would be a superstar i feel like we definitely just got to keep working and just, you know, get to it. You said your um, mom wasn't on board or your parents weren't on board with you in the beginning because they were wanting, wanted you to just get a job. Right now, you've been doing it for two years. Have they gotten on board yet? Yeah, they fully support me. They be getting on my ass these days because I, I don't be going to the studio as much as they want me to <laughs> or shooting as many videos as they want me to. But they fully see the vision now for the most part, and they want, they want me to... to even give more than what I'm already giving to this, so that's awesome. That's even more motivation. So like, what changed I got a full bag behind him. Just the results. I feel like my dad used to come a lot to me. He's very proud of me. My dad used to come a lot to me about how people would go up to him in the street because we look alike. I'm, a, I'm like an identical twin, and they would ask him if he knew Baby Young, and you know, my dad will never deny his son or anything. Mm. So he would always just feel proud, like damn, like they talked to me about my son. My son's famous and this and that, like. And you know, he doesn't see me as famous or none of that, but he sees that I got stuff going for myself. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he just wants me to never let that go because I've never really just been a nine to five worker. I don't like y'all that. Why the name Baby Youngin? I, that's what my partner named me. I'm just a youngin, and then he just told me to put baby in front of it. Because <laughs> anybody with baby will blow up in their name. So. Oh, really? For the most part, I'd say so. For the most <laughs> part, there's a lot of babies in the industry. I'd say so on God. So uh, let me ask you this, man, because when you first started out, I believe I, I, going down that rabbit hole, I seen that you and uh, Sean Cotton had did some work together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've so how did, how did how did that how did, do y'all have a relationship or uh, not yeah. currently? Okay. Not currently, we okay. got into it over some personal stuff. Like, oh, okay. It was just it was just people that I had around that I shouldn't have had around no more. Threw me under the bus and just. So you know, it messed up my relationships as far as long as with people and stuff, and you know, it, we'll we'll build, we'll build back up. To have it. you ever talked? Have you talked to him since this take took place? Nah, I hit him up. I hit him up, but he didn't answer. But that, yeah, that's Sean. <laughs> you gotta keep hitting him up, and he really we go don't. Talk, we go talk. I, I'm Sean, gonna tell you, Sean's cool. I know nah, Sean got nah, love for me. Nah, I, got love for I, Sean. I get it, man. He definitely dope dude. But he been on Boss Talk, and uh, that's I, all, yeah. I, and he's uh, yeah, he's real sensitive when it comes down to certain things. If something crosses him the wrong way, he yeah, feel, yeah, definitely. He, 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 he keep a chip on his about that, it so yeah, you gotta grudgeful. keep you, you gotta keep loving him through it bro you know what I'm saying yeah, no matter that's, what that's bro no matter what I'm all, I'll always be grateful so for the Say he, Cheese I'll always be grateful to Sean Cotton they definitely put me on a platform and on a bigger level Say Cheese is the move man Say Cheese is the move Say Seven you don't even know though official Mr. Jamaica how he sound he don't sound nothing like he look when he sing you're <laughs> I promise you and you, you you say you can sing too right yeah I'd say so. He can he can go, but he don't sound like he look. It's crazy. So if I asked you to put you on the spot and ask you to sing something for me, would you? 
I wouldn't say for you because I get in trouble. Wow. I get in trouble with my girl, but I'll sing. Oh. I'll sing okay, for the sing. podcast. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on. Let me see. I'll just drop a couple of lines. Mm. Let's see what is that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What? Dang. You put me on the spot. I can't think of what to sing right now. Anything. Uh, it could be something for, one that one you one have. Same bed, but it feels just a little bit bigger now. A song on the radio, but it don't sound the same. When my friends talk about you, all it does is just tear me down. Cause my heart breaks a little when I hear your name. Hey man, hey man, <laughs> hey, like hey. That. No, he no. right. He don't he, sound no. like he. No, he, he, he's even like that. First, what was that song? The first one I heard, the one that w- went crazy. Uh, uh, soldier, yeah, my, my first song, yeah, you Soldier. That's that, my man. That, that that was my rock. People tell you who they rem- who they say you remind them of, like the Riz, the Sean, or somebody. Rod Wave, Rod Wave, man. Rod Wave. I'm I was on he, tour with Rod Wave. I went on he tour can with Rod. Sing like that too. He mm. just he did something different right then. I went on tour with he, Rod. So. He can rock out. you and I like the way his voice feels, man. That's hard. I yeah, appreciate man. that. No, we know. All, we know, man. You ours. You can't get away. It's hard. Yeah, so you talking about you talk about your girl, but you know that whenever you're in this business industry, yeah. you're gonna have a lot of girls coming in your DM, and a lot of girls gonna be hitting <laughs> on you. So how do you intend to deal with all of that, um, or have you and your girl ha- sat down and talked about that? Mm, yeah, we sit down and talk about it. We're we're working on everything because I'm not perfect myself either. You know, I, I'm I'm young. I'm still 19, 20. <laughs> I get jealous. I get jealous. So I can't. I can't, I can't just tell somebody not to act a certain way if I act a certain if I got the mm-hmm. same characteristics. Like I gotta, I gotta, I gotta grow myself before I feel like I got I can ask anybody to grow. Uh, yeah, I feel like that. That's the truth. But I mean, we've talked about it. We've talked about it. Definitely, it's definitely a conversation because it's that's somebody I want to be with. Wow. So, okay. Awesome. Dope, man. So um, when you when you think about. Uh, the music and, and where it puts you, man. How does it does it give you an escape when you go when you? It does. It does. It makes me feel better when I feel bad. It makes me. It brings out another side of me, cause even, even though I left that environment that I was in, like I got a lot of memories. I got a lot of, a lot of experience. I got a lot of, like a lot of, like just a lot of things to talk about, and it's real, cause I'm really. I'm really from the trenches, man, and that's that's the crazy part. Yeah, Especially yeah, yeah. if you're from Dallas, you know, you know, Web Chapel oh, is man. all that. Oh man, y'all got y'all got y'all y'all got a villa down there. That one thing I did, they had a villa, the little shoe store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The villa. Uh, <laughs> it it's a DTLR yeah, it's now. DTLR. It was up there. It was up there by in front of CC's. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My girl that used in to work. She used land. to work at our store, Yesenia. That's where she used mm-hmm. to work at. I remember the villa. Yeah. So so let me ask you this: Are you are you uh are you like um are you are you are you enjoying LA? I mean, do you think that you're getting the just out of LA? You've moved out here to, to change it up a little bit. I feel like it. I am. I'm taking over the game little by little. It's like I said, it's little politic moves. I'm just linking in with the hardest, with the heavy hitters out here from OGs, you the Drake or the Ruler to like whoever you name it, from CEOs, from Jimmy O'Mele to uh, Steve LaBelle to anybody. You you name you name. You drive Baby Young and name even out in LA now they know who he is. That's yeah. that, that's that's all I wanted to come out here and do is just build my groundwork the way I did it back in Dallas. You ever run into the row out here? You know he be out here. The row, the row, uh, the goat. Yeah. Uh uh-uh. uh. I, I don't. I don't. We haven't even like talked. I know who he is. I've seen him on Say Cheese and stuff. But yeah. I didn't know he was out here a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what hard. about? Let, let me ask you this. Um, so top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Top three artists that are alive. I'm a super fan. Number of one, YFN Lucci. YFN Lucci. Uh, that's the first. Who would I say? That's hard. Lil Baby. I'm a super Lil, Lil Baby, Baby fan. Yeah, that's the one that everybody uh, loves. Young boy, bro. Young, young boy's boy. Influence. Man, that's a dope top three. You say, man, your number one was. Lucci, uh, Lu, Lu, yeah, YFN Lucci, yeah, 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 and and little baby and young young boy. You no, ready? no specific order, no specific order. But They're you, all super do, hard. But do you have young boy, young boy coming out of jail, or is he gonna be in there for a while? 
Nah, I feel like they're going to let him lose. They're going to let him free. I don't think it's... I, I want him to come home because he's just an influence to everybody. Like, that's, that's top, bro. Like, influence. Influence. He just needed, he needed to come home. You heard the song he dropped from jail today? That was hard. How you drop a song that hard from jail? Ooh. What? That don't make sense. Yeah, he ain't playing no games anyway. He been working. He a workaholic. He be working. People don't yeah. know that part of it. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. what? What? Uh, how can? Uh, so 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 if you was if you could go back and and change anything that happened with you when you was coming up into this game, if you go back and talk to the 15 year old you, what would you tell him about what he's about to face? Keep going and don't give up, cause 15 year old me was a very very giving up type for Tom so just keep going if I if I'm to anybody even the 15 year old me whatever you do just keep going definitely it ain't not it ain't nothing else to life is but keep going yeah do you do you think that <clears throat> when you um do you have any siblings I do I have he said it earlier when I was up I have three brothers and a sister okay yeah I didn't hear that part cause I was up messing around but yeah man that's dope man mm -hmm. so so you, they look up to you they do I, I love my little brother. My youngest is six. My littlest brother is six years old. He looks up to me crazy. He cuts his hair like me and everything. We, really? we, we, look, we look alike. And that's like a heavy burden on me. It makes me emotional because that's my, you know, that's my rock. Yeah, if yeah, I, yeah. To have yeah. somebody so close to me look up to me, I got something to prove, you know? So you, when you came out here, you just jumped up and jumped out here, left your family in Dallas. And it was came, hard. It was you hard. You came by yourself? Yeah, I did come by myself. It was hard. I used to be fighting my mom on the phone a lot. My mom missed me a lot at the start, so she'd be crying on the phone to me to come home, all this and that. But shit, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Nah, you gotta jump, right? <laughs> you gotta go out here and see what it's worth. Test the water. So when, what water. studio I ain't did been, you? I ain't how, back did, since. how was the process changing over to the studio out here versus when you was working in Dallas? Uh, not difficult. I already had people out here from like uh, Drophy and Perp, like Narco Wave people. Uh, I got a lot of studios out here now, but it wasn't it wasn't too difficult transition, and I already had connects out here. Yeah. I've been out here once or twice before I moved. Mm -hmm. But why LA over Atlanta? There's more Mexican people here, honestly. There's mm -hmm. more of Hispanic fan base here, and I feel like Atlanta will probably be the next move because everybody in Atlanta fuck with me from the 4PF camp to to the YSL camp. Like I'm like it's green. I got. A Cap G, everything. I've been to Cap G's house in Atlanta, everything. So I'm Atlanta's cool too. But I just feel like there's more Mexicans out here. And okay. There will be more support out here as far as what my hip hop goes to turn global. Yeah. And the West Coast needs a West Coast needs a bigger market too. So So you you would say that your hip hop you want to cater to more Hispanics? No, not really. It's it's just anybody that grew up in the struggle. Anybody okay. anybody that's been through anything because like my music is real I'd say my music is very real and I have conversations with my manager and I have conversations with other people and my my music is they tell me it tends to appeal to an older audience mm -hmm. that's why that's why I feel like a lot of young cats and stuff still need to get on board and shit but it's gonna it's all gonna happen I, I trust I trust and I pray a lot so have you ever so um, done a song where you're rapping in Spanish yes yeah. I rap that people say I rap harder in Spanish than I rap in English, but it takes me. I gotta write my shit in Spanish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta write my shit in Spanish because I'm, I'm I'm fluent. I speak Spanish, but I can't freestyle Spanish. Uh -huh. It's hard for me to even freestyle in English. You know, I gotta <laughs> write or punch in or something. Yeah, you know? okay. I had to go back to it, but like I, I heard you say, you went on tour with Rod Wave. Rod Wave and uh, Say Cheese, Sean Cotton, they, they, they parted ways as well, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, they, was, they was, getting, this, was, was this before or when you went out with him or was this during the time that happened? Yeah, I think the first, when I was on tour with him was the, when the first one happened because they've, they've been, Rod and Sean been like, they've been bumping heads like a couple of times already. So I think the first time that it happened, we were on tour, but I didn't ever, I never met Rod. I'll be honest, I never met Rod. Rod Rod is a very introvert person. Plus, it was like when coronavirus was about to happen, so we only got like a week into the tour, and it got shut down in Baltimore. Really? Mm, yeah, we had wow. to come back home in Baltimore. Wow, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I can tell you, man, is 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 being a young man, a, a young bull out here in L.A., man, having all the opportunity and having all those people that done watched you grow, and and so so. 
So you started this like when you was about 17, 16, 17. Six, like late 16, I was about to turn 17. Yeah. And and you you basically uh you changed the game, man. Like I said, when I first listened to you, it wasn't what you just sung. Then it's this song uh, I'll tell you which one it is. Yeah, probably one you just said, yeah. Was yeah, soldier? that soldier, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just soldier go hard still. <laughs> ain't gonna 2. lie to 5 mil. He got 2.5 mil. He sound different, I'm telling you. Let me see if I can lock him in. I'm gonna play a little bit of it before they, they'll <laughs> ban me if I, if, if, I, if I play too much of it. Man, yeah. Yeah, you got it. No, I ain't good. I know <laughs> what they're gonna do on that. They'll ban me. Man, they can't ban you. That's my music. Yeah, I know it. But I'm on this podcast. You can't ban me. I ECO pro- music I promise album. you they, they will do it Check I'm it out in the sky, Bitch you know that I'm with it Love forgive me for my lies Yeah I know I've been sinning All the nights that I cry You can't live how we live Something else hey, That shit is hard I told you that. <laughs> I heard that hard a while <laughs> I don't listen to my music like that I listen to my release shit a lot more Just to like Get ideas off of it and My wife say y'all when, uh, The official Miss Jamaica say When y'all first make new songs Y'all act like y'all gravitate to that a little bit mm-hmm. more It's your best song like ever what song is your hardest song to you right now That you have That I have out? Yes Or that you have period That you've no, ever I done No I got too many I got like 400, 500 songs I can't, wow. I can't choose one That's hard But I got I, lo- I love I love collabs more than anything Like Okay I love collabing Like I got some shit With Slim Jim From Ray Shrimmer Oh yeah Mr. LA Yeah Like hard shit Like I've got some Hard ass features Wow Hey And guess what It's all off the love Stop playing For real like Them boys said, just, They rock with real you Real street Migo man So who have you not Collabed with That you would love To work with Lil Baby <laughs> Lil Baby uh, ESTG Pooh Shiesty Gucci Mane Uh 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 Fredo Bang, Polo G, it's too many people. Mm-hmm. It's too many people. I love, I love music. I love listening. Uh, yeah. You know, your boy Trap Boy Freddy just uh, came out and did an interview. He hadn't did one in three years. Sean Cotton did. Yeah, I, I was watching. I saw on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he hadn't been out in a minute. Mm-hmm. So I was, I, I was like, wow, he out doing interviews again. Yeah. yeah and yeah. Boss Talk One Hundred One is definitely on the scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah, pick them up, man. Any, anybody from the city, I, it's love, man. Yeah, yeah, you know? nah, man. It, I mean, I love all the, all, the, all our Dallas artists, man. I just, me and you, we I... We got to come together. That's yeah. the thing. But we got to support each other. I feel like the Dallas market will be so huge when people start supporting each other. But there's just so much bloodshed in the streets. I don't think shit will ever be the same, honestly. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes, you you know, time changes things, man. Let's, let's, let's just hope and pray <laughs> Yeah, yeah. time changes things I, I hope and pray honestly for the same thing Because Dallas is a beautiful city I would want it I would want it to be known For more than just shootings And just dumb, dumb shit Like I, I'd want Like Artists coming out of there I want a music scene to be out of there Terrorists coming in and out of there Like You feel me? People I feel like People don't want to go to Dallas Whenever they talk about Texas People want to go to Houston People want to go to Austin you feel me? So Dallas got to get it together. Wow, that, you you all heard that, man. Baby Young said Dallas has to get it together. We got to come and bring the city together, and we gonna we gonna figure it out, right? We are gonna figure it out, man. I'm a I'm a young I'm a young you know I'm just a young I'm just a young nigga. I can't it ain't much I can say. It ain't much that I can do, but voice my opinion and just hope people listen, cause I know I got influence on my side of town. I know I got influence with young people. I know I got influence with certain grown people. It's just people need to come together. For sure, man. So, um, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to uh, uh, follow you or you know reach out to you? Instagram, I got everything really. I be streaming games, everything on Twitch. So you can look me up on Instagram, Baby Youngin, B A B Y Y U N G I N. Same thing on YouTube, uh, BB Youngin on Twitter, uh, BB Youngin on Twitch, whatever. Just. Uh, yeah, just go to my Instagram. I got a link tree on there on my bio. You can just hit. It shows all my profiles from my YouTube to my Instagram to whatever. Yeah, when you was in Dallas, I asked you just one more question. Um, did you collab with any of those local guys? Who do I have collabs with in Dallas? You know, I want you to look out for somebody. Somebody from Dallas that's really coming up right now that I feel like people may have not heard, but his name is Lil Nevy. He's another little Mexican kid from Dallas. Super duper hard. That's a superstar that's coming out of there. But is he signed or anything? Uh, he's not signed. He's independent right now. So I'm, I'm going to give you his Instagram and stuff afterwards. Okay. But he's super hard. He's a young 16. I've, d- I've done something with him. 
who else have I worked from the city? I've worked with Beto, Goyeo, uh, uh, trying to see me and CJ, little CJ Casino, trying to put something together. Uh, for the nah, I wouldn't say I have a lot of Dallas collabs, bro. Yeah, but I you don't. still got some. Yeah, they go I, Yayo I, hard. I, I, I Beto is more. hard. That's yeah. hard. I have them on one song. I got two songs with Yayo. The other one I haven't dropped yet. Well, and then the other one got chucked down because of producers and shit. So I don't got no nothing with Yayo or Beto released right now. Wow, but, wow. So with all the work Never that really. you've been doing, and you've been doing this for two years, um, have you been making enough money to just you know just do your music and nothing else? Yes, I've been working a. Since I moved, since I moved out, I've, music's been my full time job. I haven't had to pick up a nine to five, thankfully, again since December twenty nineteen. That's good. So That's I'm th good. I'm thankful for that shit. Yeah. I haven't I haven't worked a job since December twenty nineteen. <laughs> I can wake up at whatever time I want to wake up. Because some people still pushing for years and still got to get For years. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to somebody this morning who was asking me who was about to give up. If you're doing music and you're about to give up, don't give up, bro. Because I've talked to bigger artists, even bigger than myself. I won't name drop them just for the sake of them. But G shit, we've all gone broke off this shit. We've all wanted to quit. We've all wanted to give up, bro. That shit. Like, you know, if you got a love for something, just keep going, bro. Everything's going to fall into play. Just... Trust the process, trust the game, and trust God. Man, that's hey, that. man, that's a dope that's way a to end way. it, man. I'm just about to say the same, same thing. Man. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, we love you, brother. God, Baby Young, we miss you. Hey, we wish you the much success. Um, we we hey we love hard boss talk one on one approves yeah. you now so check it, man. Whenever you're in the city, you got to come by the spot so you can hang out, man. And and it's going For down. Real. I'm there. Hey man, Fair it's enough. been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Yes, sir. Out. Checking out.